David Spade has a new show. Boy, they're handing them out. Lights Out with David Spade made its debut last night. Comedy Central airs every Monday through Thursday, 1130 Eastern. David, welcome to the program and congrats on your new show. <laughs> well, they're handing them out. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> uh, That's nice. Are you a Cardinal fan, Arizona Cardinal fan? You know, Dan, this is a great question. I am from Scottsdale, and I grew up there. They weren't there, as I recall. So I glommed on to the Miami Dolphins as a kid because <laughs> they were winning and they were undefeated. And I loved, you know, like Larry Zonka, who came to my show once. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I love the Zonk. I love Mercury Morris. Then uh, we had the same dealer. No, I loved uh, Mercury Morris, and then <laughs> wow. I and then they started losing, so I switched to the Steelers, and I had a good run with them. And I realized I just was loyal to winning, so <laughs> if I, had, I just liked the Steelers, no rhyme or reason, just because they started winning a lot. And then I realized I don't even know what loyal means. I just like the teams that win. Are you a Patriots fan? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I go where the heat is, man. What do fans say to you when they see you on the street? They say enough with the Adam Sandler stuff. No, they say, um, <laughs> David, thank you for your service and show business. <laughs> uh, you've done a, you've done right by everyone. And I know I can always count on seeing you at, on TBS at 3 p.m. on something. <laughs> are you okay <laughs> with being? Are Sorry. you? Uh, do you? But do you find that the, that you got to be funny when you see? Like they expect you to be funny, or do they give you the benefit of the doubt no matter what you say that it's funnier coming from a comedian? Well, I there's a uh, a couple levels to that. First of all, I do when I meet people, and I know they're just going to meet me once in their life. Uh, sometimes I say something goofy or funny because that's it for life if you meet someone famous and you're from out of town that's the story you have for 20 years and you want it to be a pleasant experience just even if i just nice when i take a picture or something because i feel like i've done that growing up and i just remembered it forever with people and uh if they're nice you're just happy about it but sometimes like waiters and some of them they will laugh extra hard when i say anything and then my a girl I'm with is always like, it's so <laughs> gross how your little C plus jokes that should be bombing. And this guy's like, oh, <laughs> they're not even jokes. I go, I don't care. I love it. Yeah, but you've been tricking them for a long time, David. Oh, yeah. It's been, I've got it wired now. Yeah. But I just, uh, I try to be okay in real life. And I know on TV, I come across like a tough guy, hard ass athlete. But in real life, I'm actually like sort of a nice guy, kind of a puss. And so <laughs> you have to, a lot of guys treat me like it's all Joe Dirt, like slapping on the back, like I'm a, like I'm their little buddy and I'm like a frat brother. And they're like, look at this idiot. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> they put me in a freaking headlock. I'm like, all right, relax. And then I'm with Sean Penn and they're like, uh, Mr. Penn. I'm like, give me some of that. Hey, what is the deal about, act? you know, the actor Sean Penn? Did he give you your first tattoo? Yes, he did. I think I'm going to ask him to do another one on the new show. <laughs> thirsty alert. Thirsty, thirsty. Um, yeah, because I want uh, – that was a fun one on Saturday Night Live. It was just such a dumb idea. He'd only done it on uh, potatoes. <laughs> Wait, so he gives you a tattoo? You were okay signing off on that? So the real deal, yeah. your tattoo, is Sean Penn yeah. gave it to you. My real deal is wow. I ran into him at a party. I didn't know him. I heard him talking and telling someone else he's trying to do tattoos just for some time to kill or some sort of drunk talk. And I did it on a potato, and then I was out of ideas immediately on SNL about a week later. Called him and said, would you come to SNL when you're doing Letterman? Would you run over and give me a tattoo? And he said, yeah, okay. And uh, <laughs> he, it was very not thought through, I can tell you that. And then I, I picked one that Steven Tyler had. I asked Steven Tyler for this one he has on his arm. He nice enough told me how to get it, whatever. I show up at the tattoo shop. There's two Hells Angels. <laughs> Sean's drunk. And, uh, and then he goes, 
I can't do that one. And then the tattoo guy goes, oh, yeah, this is what you meant. He can't do it. He can't do anything. So we had to pick something on the newspaper, which was Calvin and Hobbes, which I didn't want. And I go, well, here we go. <laughs> Let's. This will be a fun bit for the rest of my life. And uh, he did it, and I interviewed him and just asked some dumb questions. And and then at the end, I I was allergic to every color, and the whole thing bled for two weeks. <laughs> and then I said, who wants tattoos? They're horrible. Like, it's no fun at all. And, uh, and here I am trying to do it again with him. He's uh, David Spade. He has a new show. It debuted last night on Comedy Central. And uh, this is after The Daily Show. Is this after Trevor Noah? Yeah, I know it's on your VCR, but maybe the next month or two you should try to peep a few minutes of it. All right, so that's 1130 Eastern, Monday through Thursday. <laughs> Give me your guest. Who is the ideal guest? Oh, um, I do want to quiz Le'Veon Bell about fantasy last year. I don't think he'll be my first guest, but I'm still stewing about it, and I'm glad he made a statement pointed at me because I drafted him first last year, and now I'm still – I'm scared to draft him again. Yeah, I remember when we had you on, you were really angry. Oh, steaming. And I, I apologize. I was really in a tizzy. <laughs> uh, but uh, this year, I feel like fool me once, shame on you. If I do it again, I'll, yeah, I'm going to go to safe route with Ezekiel. <laughs> Will you take Le'Veon Bell if you have a chance? Dan, these are the tough questions. What is it, 60 minutes? Yes. Um, I, I think I will. Because now Ezekiel is, I don't know what he's, he's playing grab ass. He's down in Cabo. Come on. Get your head in the game. I need guys that want to be there. Yeah, I know that. I know. Practicing my speech for my writers. How good are you at fantasy football? Oh, I don't know. I won it once. <laughs> oh, man, league. Is that good? It's such a crapshoot, though. I think I'm good, and then I get, like, last the next year. I go, what am I doing wrong? But, you know, it's just fun. I do it with some of the guys from Happy Madison, and then I have another one with some of my idiot friends around here. But they always hate if I'm winning. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> he gets it all. <laughs> do, but you, you know what? They probably think you get inside information because you're David Spade. You know, like you could call Adam Schefter or somebody. I do. I call Glazer sometimes. Really? I'm like, he's like, hey, did you get that uh Solo flex I sent you? I'm like, yes. I got other questions. But are the Danettes mics off? I don't hear any big No, no, they're, 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 they're um, <laughs> you know what? We put in a laugh track after the interview. Please, God, help me. My, I don't want to bomb. I'm pushing a show. Yeah. I, could you guys open up your microphones a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Okay. Seton's not you know, laughing. You're not my demo. You're not my so demo. So we're not? What, <laughs> what is your demo? I don't know. Nine to ten year olds that have seen bench warmers. <laughs> we dominated in that movie, didn't we? Dude, I'm telling you, I hear about bench warmers as much as almost any movie. I've not seen. as much as Joe Dirt or Tommy Boy. No, but I'm telling you, it's Joe Dirt and Tommy Boy, which is two good guesses because those are one and two. <laughs> and then... I'm, I'm telling you, bench warmers is a real sleeper because I hear it on Twitter almost every day. I wow. it on Instagram. It's just a good little fun baseball movie that had some dumb lines in it. And uh, I, first of all, appreciate you being in it. And I'm glad you're in a lot of those movies. And uh, you're sort of a lucky charm. Are you, is Twitter nice to you? <laughs> overall, yes. Um, overall, Except about once a week, I get, I wish you died instead of Farley. I swear I get that more than I should. And now it's turning into like a sample of a song where you go, I've heard that so much, come up with some new stuff. But wow. the, the truth is that they can be mean, Dan, and I don't want you to get on Twitter if you're not ready for I'm it. I'm not on Twitter. I don't want to. And uh, I'm sorry they said such a mean thing like that. that no, they wish they'll you were be dead. nice to you. But I'm like, what am I, Ariana Grande? Leave me alone. I'm, I'm, <laughs> You know, I'm old. I already, I've already hate myself. You don't have to dive in on it. And you both dated Pete Davidson, so uh, there you go. Ugh, that guy. Um, all right. Well, uh, <laughs> wait. You have Dan? a beef with Pete Davidson? No, no. It's more with Ariana Grande's ponytail. Okay. <laughs> um, listen, uh, 
Dan, is it? Yes. I'm going to. Uh, I got to run. I got a million things going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Say it again. Say it again, and then I'm going to get a real laugh from my guys. Hey, okay. Hey. I got to go. I got. Oh my god. Okay. All right, David. Well. Wait. What's your What's the setup? I I didn't have one. You were going to just take it. You were running with it. Okay. Uh, guys, I got to run. Um, I've got a. Uh, I, I got to go turn down some movies. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Forced and strained, but I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Okay, I miss David. You. Okay. Okay. I, I can't miss you if you don't leave. Thank you, David. <laughs> it's David Spade. He has a new, a new TV show. It's called Lights Out with David Spade. It debuted last night. And it's Monday through Thursday, 1130 Eastern. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.